Testing, testing, testing. Check, 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 check. <clears throat> All right. We got ourselves a haul. Okay. Today is my birthday. Uh, I'm 43. Oh, my God. I'm 43, but don't get it twisted. Y'all seen me on Tales from the Flip Side. I'm still as cute as a baby. Don't get it twisted. And uh, am I looking for birthday wishes and all that good stuff? No, 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 no. Uh, I love y'all, but y'all keep that. Uh, the only reason why I'm bringing up my birthday is to set the stage. And uh, although I have to work today, uh, I was off the last couple of days. And I decided to splurge a little bit on something from my childhood. So we have Transformers. Tanta Fumu. And uh, what is this? What is this? We have sealed 80s Transformers. So we have my man, Rumble. I don't care what the packaging says. <laughs> this is Rumble. And Laserbeak. We got Laserbeak. And unlike Megatron's other warriors, Laserbeak never fails him. And uh, what did I want to say about this? Now, speaking to the packaging... Uh, it says Frenzy. Now, back in the day, I, 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 back in, okay, so this came out in 1984, and at that time, I was six years old. Uh, my friends and I, we had zero clue what Frenzy meant, and we were like, Frenzy? Is he supposed to be your friend? Well, why is he a bad guy then? <laughs> uh, that's what we thought. But yeah, look at this. Sealed. This thing is sealed. Transformers. Oh, Lord. Yes. I love this. Look at the pack. Look at this. Look at this. I need to put this in a star case, but I'm keeping it in like a little plastic bag for the time being. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, you're so beautiful. So how much was this? This cost me a little over 400 A little over 400 which is fine with me considering the condition and considering the fact that this is the uh, one of the exact uh, toys that I bought when I was a kid. Or that I guess my mom bought me when I was a kid. So yeah, man, this brings back a ton of memories. Memories are flooding the hell back. Look at that. Ooh, one more time. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh, rumble. I don't care what it says. I don't care what the package says. Rumble and laser big. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee. Yeah. 80s toy haulage. So this was uh so this was the birthday present to myself, all right? Okay. Uh, let's get into a proper comic book haul. Do 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 do. do, do. Okay, we're going to move this. We're going to set this aside. And uh yeah, look at that. Check this out. Check this out. So we have Black Hammer Number one, Black Hammer number one, and check out the price on this. We get, let's get this thing adjusted. Let's get this adjusted. Perfect. Look at the price on that. Look at the price. Look at the price. Ooh. So I basically found this recover price. Black Hammer number one. Everywhere I see, everywhere that I saw Black Hammer number one, I want to say over the past what six months uh everybody wanted like 20 no not even 20 they wanted like 35 50 you know what i'm saying i'm like eh, no <laughs> i'm not going anywhere near that price i held out and i got the price that i wanted look at that so we got black hammer black ass hammer laying back <laughs> Black Hammer. Lay it back! <laughs> but anyway, uh, so we got this got this thing for a cover price. We found a, I don't know what, like a 50-something dollar book for... I, maybe, honestly, okay, the last time I checked, I think this book is even going for more than that. Maybe $75 on a good day. So, yeah, found you, found you. You know how we do. You know how we... Hey, hey, hey. You know how we get down all right next next found another one another one secret wars secret love number one check this out check this out check this out, check this out. we got we found the second print Ooh, again you know how we do how much was this the price is on the back 
got this for 550 so 50 cents over cover price which is fine with me love it can't live without it you know how we do okay let's get you adjusted just a little bit more just a little bit more looking good all right uh so what is this going for the last time i checked a copy sold for i want to say 70 i want to say 70 i checked uh 130point.com and uh the final because i think it was okay so on e ebay it said 80 dollars a best offer so i believe it sold for 70 the final price so yeah, we got ourselves a second print for a little bit over cover. What's next? What's next? What's next? I Mortal Iron Fist number two, second print. So this is the first appearance of Ao A. Oh shoot, Ao She. So it basically, it's, this is the first appearance. Uh, so this is the I believe the first person to um, wield the iron the power of the iron fist okay so she, she's like an ancient she's like a an older character that didn't sound right she is a character from the past how about that so yeah immortal iron fist number two second print good looking cover i i i know when that shang chi trailer came out last month that this book was like sort of kind of hot i don't think it is anymore now but that's okay and how much is how much i pay for this Ooh, sweet like all of this like there all of this flaw is all on the bag thank god and there's like a couple of spine ticks but it was only two dollars so yeah sweet all right what's next Ooh, i like this variant a lot i you know what I did. I had no clue, and I didn't know that this book was going for so much. Uh, so we have Marvel Zombies number one, the Greg Land variant, um, uh, featuring Elsa Bloodstone on the cover. She's looking a little. <laughs> I don't know what's up, what's up with her body. Like okay, this looks normal, but like this this area right there is just looking a little off. Like, even this looks normal, but this, like, this little area right there is just looking a little, it's looking a little, like, eh. <laughs> it's looking a little, not looking right, but it's a good composition, nevertheless, and uh, what more did I want to say about this? How much did this cost me? I, the price is on the back. This cost me $4.50. So I got this for a few dollars over cover price. And this book, I believe, is going for at least $40 right now. At least $40. So yeah, Marvel Zombies, number one. Or from the um from that Secret Wars, that Secret Wars deal. Uh the Greg Land cover. Let's, let's try to adjust this light. It's looking everything's getting washed out in the light. So alright. That's it. Eh. The glare is still there, but we can manage. We can manage. All right, what's next? What's it? Ooh. I found a really nice looking copy. Secret Wars number three, first appearance of Titiana. Titiana. <laughs> if you're nasty. Uh, what did I want to say about this? What is this book going for? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know anymore. But I came across this really really beautiful high grade look at that closer than close look at that oh wait oh wait look at that mm. for 10 bucks how much is that ten dollars hell yeah i was all over that price all over that price okay uh what's next what's next i like this variant i like this variant a lot so we've got Ultimate Avengers 2. Ultimate Avengers 2. So this is the uh, sketch variant. I don't know if it's a ratio or anything like that. But uh, I've talked about this book. So this is the first appearance of Tyrone Cash, a.k.a. The Black Hulk. I like this book a lot. Um, what more did I want to say about this? Uh, he's an Ultimates character. So I'm not quite sure if he made his way to the uh, Marvel 616 yet. 
but I still like this. It's um, I got this for five dollars. It's a sketch variant. Why not? Why not? Also, 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 for two dollars, I bought the or found the uh, Ultimate Avengers two number two. So this is the first cover appearance of the uh, Black Hulk, A.K.A. Tyrone Cash. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So in this, so in the Ultimates continuity. Uh, Black Hulk was the quote-unquote first Hulk. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. I like this. I like this. I like this. All right. What's next? What's next? Ooh. I like this variant. So this is my third copy of this book. So Sensa Sensational She-Hulk number 22, uh, the Ed McGinnis variant. So this is the first appearance of Jazinda, the, uh, I don't want to say scroll, scroll queen, but I think a scroll agent or something like that. And uh, what did I want to say? What more did I want to say about this? I uh, found this for $4. So pretty much, so what, essentially cover price? Yeah, hell yeah, very happy about that. What's next? What's next? So I paid $6 for this. Justice League Dark, number 30, the Mad Variant. This is a good looking cover. I really, really dig this cover. And for $6, this was a no-brainer to buy. So basically $2 over cover price for this Mad Variant. I, I noticed, like, not all of the Mad Variants uh, from DC are doing, you know, like, incredible numbers. But some kind of are. Some are. And I, I honestly, I forgot to look up what this book was going for, but I, I want to say that this is a solid, this is doing pretty solid. I want to say, I, I don't want to speak out of turn, but I think this book is doing a little something. All right. Ooh, ooh. So we go from Justice League to Avengers. So we have uh, Avengers Academy found another copy of Avengers Academy number one. I believe this was either 25 cents or 50 cents over cover price. I'll take it. This book has become extremely hot. Uh, no thanks to, and no thanks to me. <laughs> oh, Lord. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So first appearance of a bunch of characters and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh book is getting hot but i like this book even more as much as i like this book as much as i like this book i like this book even more so i will beat the drum for avengers arena all the live long day so we have the first appearance of quite a few characters and uh first appearance of this character right there teenage female deathlock aka deathlock it first appearance of uh where's colin bloodstone at uh he's somewhere i believe i forget where he is particularly on the cover uh is that him no kid brit no actually i think that's him right there crossed out i think that's him so, uh, first appearance of Cullen Bloodstone, Elsa Bloodstone's brother, and first appearance of blah, 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 Kid Britain. I believe that might be him right there, I think. But, uh, and I believe first appearance of this character right here, I forget his name. And uh, maybe, uh, maybe another character, but I like this book. I really love this book. Um, even more so than Avengers Arena, no, uh, Avengers Academy number one. But anyway, we'll move on. 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 But I like this book, so I think I picked this up for. Let's see how much I paid. Uh, oh shoot, I, pay, I paid cover price for that. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, what's next? Oh my god. Now I didn't pay cover price for this. Uh, totally awesome Hulk number one, second print. I paid twenty dollars for this. Did I want to pay twenty dollars? Absolutely not, but I never see this book anywhere, and there are just some days you, there are just some days you gotta splurge, you know what I'm saying? There are just some days you gotta pay up. Now, if I come across a copy for cover price, I'll be happy, and I'll be happy with this one as well. So, yeah, Totally Awesome Hulk, number one, second print. What's next? We have a really awesome variant. Look at this, look at this variant. Now, I've talked about this variant before in the past 
So we've got Infamous Iron Man number 12. Infamous Iron Man number 12. With Okay. Now, this features Doctor Doom, and does Doctor Doom lend himself well to variants? Is he on a lot of variants? Uh, is he on a lot of well-known variants? I, To be quite honest with you, I don't think so. Now, if I'm wrong, please correct me. That's fine. I don't mind, I don't mind the correction, but this variant stands out. Look at this. And this is like one of those... I believe like a qualifier, so it's not a ratio. So you can find this thing for cover price. I know I found this for for, for like 50 cents over cover price, but look at this. So, uh, bu, 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 bu. you know what? I forget who the artist is on this. And I'm not, I think this is a Maliv. Yeah, I believe this is a Maliv cover, but look at this. Look at this gorgeous cover. Look at this. My gosh, wow. So beautiful. Like this to me, it has all the potential to be like a modern classic cover. Has all the potential. I tried to get this on the uh, Spec 10 list uh, maybe a month ago. Nobody was having it. <laughs> they voted that shit down. But that's okay. I'll talk about it here. Uh, that's why I have my own channel. But yeah, look at this. Look at this. Infamous Iron Man number 12. Look at this gorgeous ass cover. Much like, I want to say much like Contest of Champions number 8. That variant, that was a cover price variant, and it's like an $80 book. Um, I, I see a lot of potential in this cover. I just don't think a lot of people know about it, but this is a gorgeous cover. And I'm glad I found another one. Very glad I found another one. All right, what's next? Ooh, let's do some magazine. Magazine Madness! Yeah, boy, let's do some magazine madness. Amazing Heroes number six. Amazing Heroes number six, really? It's that wow! This is that early in the uh, in the run of Amazing Heroes. Okay, sweet. But look at this cover. Look at this gorgeous ass. So I have to imagine this is a Bill Sienkiewicz cover. But uh, look at this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful Moon Knight cover. Look at this. Oh my God! So I paid ten dollars for this. I have no clue what this book goes for. But look at this gorgeous cover. Holy cow! Wow. That this cover is hot. This cover is extremely hot. Love it. Love it. What's next? What's next? Comics feature number 20. Okay, so uh, from what I researched, uh, this came out October 1982, the same time as Amazing Heroes number 16, which is uh, which is the first preview appearance of the new mutants so this counts as the other uh first appearance preview of the new mutants so i'm not quite sure which came first but they did come out in the, but amazing heroes 16 did come out the same month as comic feature number 20 so and you have the new mutants on the cover there so i guess you can count this as a first appearance of the new mutants Okay, uh, buh, 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 buh. so I paid $15 for this. I have no clue what this book goes for, but I didn't want to leave it there. You know what I'm saying? Comics Journal, number 50. I paid $10 for this book. How gorgeous is this Phoenix cover? I have no clue who this artist is, but uh, Fu, Fu, Te... Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to pronounce his name. Not even going to try. But uh, Comics Journal number 50. Look at this gorgeous. And like, these are some. Look at this. This cover is hot. This Moon Knight cover is hot. Wow. So, Comics Journal number 50. Beautiful, beautiful X Men cover with uh, Phoenix front and center. Wow. So, this is from, uh, what, 1979? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. This thing is gorgeous. Look at this. Wow. Wow. I found some really amazing books while I was out and about the other day. All right. What's next? What's next? Uh, Bitter Root. Let's do some Bitter Root. So we found uh, Bitter Root number four, the regular cover, and Bitter Root number four, the variant. Okay. All right. So these were. Uh, 25 cents over cover price. Why not? Why not? Bitter, Bitter Root is hot. 
So yeah, I had come across like I want to say maybe a couple of months ago, I had come across uh, some a copy of number one. The I think the you know like those variants for that, um, and like some and I think copies of number three, number four. You know, so do I have like all of the hot bitter root covers and all that? No, no. But I'm happy with what I got. Happy with the <laughs> happy with the bitter root that I got. All right, what's next? What's next? Ooh, I love this variant. Freaking love this variant. And I'm glad I came across another one. So we have Justice League number forty, the Alex Garner variant. So this is the first appearance of Vale. This is a one in twenty five. I don't know. This book doesn't get a lot of love, man. Um, I, I know a lot of people are chasing the combo pack for number 40, but does anybody know about this 1 in 25? This thing is gorgeous. And uh, I came across a copy for like 25 or maybe $30 a few years ago. And um, I don't know. I thought this book would do something, but it's not. It's This is a really, really, really undervalued book. Severely undervalued. So, uh, Justice League number 40, 1 in 25, variant, first appearance of Grill. Ooh, we're moving on. We're moving on. Check this out. Check this out. Ooh, wee. Guess what I found for cover price? Guess what? Ya boy found for cover price. Look at this. Look at this. So, we have Department of Boobs number one, the fifth print. But we found the secret variant. Ooh wee, ooh wee. I was at, okay. So this was the second store of the day on Wednesday. I don't know what it was. I just had a feeling that I would come across this somehow, some way. And there were a, like maybe a stack of four copies of the fifth print, you know, with uh, JFK on the cover. Or actually, no, just a stack of the uh, fifth, just like maybe like, a, I want to say a stack of four copies of uh this fifth print here and just something told me just keep just keep uh just keep flipping just keep flipping and sure enough there it was there it was right at the bottom right at the bottom of the table yanked that thing up paid for it and i was on my way actually no i kind of looked around a little bit but yeah i was very i don't know what it was man i was feeling it i was feeling it so we found this boy for cover price. Ooh, ooh, we don't play around over here. No, we don't. No, no, no. No, no, no. All right, uh, what did I want to say about this? What is this book going for? Maybe, because I def I think this book is going for, I want to say $80 right now. And I definitely missed the boat on the secret variant for the first print, but... Uh, I didn't miss the boat on this one. No, I didn't. Mm -mm -mm. Listen, I can't get every book, but the books that I can't find, watch out. All right, what's next? Speaking of Contest of Champions number eight, we found another copy for cover price. Yeah, very happy about that. Gorgeous. This this book is nice. I'd I'll be damned if this isn't a nine eight. I would be very surprised if this wasn't a nine eight. This thing is gorgeous all right we're moving on we're moving on we're moving on let's try to get transformers in the frame there yeah nice all right uh moon knight number six uh the what is this story thus far variant okay why not this was a little bit over cover price okay now i like these i like these a lot i like these a lot so we have dr afra number 38 uh, so we have the, so this is the Greatest Moments variant uh, featuring with uh, Kylo Ren on the cover in Darth Vader's Melted Helmet. Okay, all right, looking good. Good looking cover. Um, I think this, I, you know what, I don't know what this book is going for. Uh, maybe, I don't, you know what, I don't know, I don't know. But I found another Dr. Afro Greatest Moments variant. So this is number 40. Uh, with uh, Ren and uh, Ren and Ray. Okay, now I thought the Last Jedi was trash. I thought it was a trash movie, but 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 the 
uh, Snoke's throne room. I gotta say, that was probably the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in a movie. Like, The Last Jedi was a trash movie, but it was the most beautifully shot movie that I think I've ever seen. That thing was, like, just gorgeously shot. Um, and Snoke's throne room was just as beautiful. That was a, that was just a, gore, like, just gorgeous scenes in that movie, um, concerning the throne room. And, um, what did I want to say about this? Um, this book is non-existent on eBay or any of the online stores. I believe number 38 is still available for cover price online somewhere, but... I know this one is nowhere to be found. And I found this for a little bit over cover price. All right, so what is this book going for? I want to say uh, maybe $20. I think, I think, don't quote me on that. Don't hold me to it. Uh, found two copies of Hawkeye number 10. First appearance of The Clown. Okay, all right, okay. Uh, so a little bit over cover price on that. New Avengers, oh no, this is a uh, new X-Men Academy X number five, first appearance of Pixie, all right, whatever. I like this book, I like this. So we have um, uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 598, second print with Harry Osborn as the Iron Patriot on the cover. I dig this, I dig this cover, I dig this cover. Uh, this book really doesn't go for anything, but I like I like its potential, how about that? Oh, speaking of Star Wars, found two copies, two more copies of Star Wars Legacy number eight. Uh, first appearance of Darth Luft. First appearance of Darth Luft. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 All right. What's next? What's next? Uh, two copies of... Avengers Prelude, Fury's Big Week number two, first cameo, first like itty bitty cameo of, uh, uh, oh crap, what's her name, Darcy Lewis. I like this cover a lot. So we have Daredevil number four, the um, Tedesco, I want to say that's his name, but uh, this is a good looking cover, love this cover. Earth 2. Number 22, another, uh, speaking of mad variants, Earth 2, number 22, the uh, the mad variant, uh, paid $10 for that. I just like the cover. Gears of War, Gears for Fears of War, number four. So apparently this is a variant. This is a variant. And I paid uh, essentially cover price for it. You can tell it's a variant because of that number two right there where it's where it is and the numbering so yeah okay all right i really have no clue what that goes for but i figure it's a variant might as well pick it up thunderbolts number 144 second print found another copy of that featuring featuring oh crap featuring baron zemo two copies of Amazing Spider-Man 654.1 for what a dollar over cover price on each. All right, it's all good. It's all good. Okay, I found this for a dollar. Does anybody remember when this caused a hubbub because apparently the character is a teenager but she's showing titty? <laughs> I found that for a dollar. So the Intimates number four. Okay, all right, it's all good. Uh, we're rounding the bases. We're rounding the bases. So, uh, okay. Now, Scooby Apocalypse number six. Scooby Apocalypse number six. Okay, so we have the uh, uh, quasi-virgin variant off to the left and the regular cover. Now, I believe this this variant can be found pretty easily, but... Uh, I tried to find like any type of online copies for the regular cover, and there were none to be found. I'm not quite sure why, and I like I, I just like I, and I tried to do a search to see like if any have sold in like the last three months, and 
I can't find anything. Like, I legit can't find anything. I can't find any copies of this book at all, which is weird. And uh, we're rounding the bases, so we found some more copies of uh, Dr. Afra 38 and 40 variants, those greatest moments. And last but not least, Iron Man 3 Prelude, first appearance of the MCU version of the Mandarin. All right, so that's my haul. I'm going to go sleep <laughs> for work. And uh, yeah, that's my haul. I'm sticking to it. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. All right, bye.